I will turn on the work profile. Mm -hmm. And let's unsuspend personal apps. Um, as you can see, I simulated with a new dedicated operation that allows us to suspend personal apps. So, so you can you can uh, you can test it. You, you can uh, check how it uh, how it works uh, on your devices as well. Um, uh, okay, as you can see, uh, as you can see, my personal apps are uh, available again. So the device is, is ready to be used. Um, okay, let's 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 go back to to some slides for for a while. Um, another great uh, feature available for Android 11 is the way how managed network settings uh, are available for the end user. Uh, let me show you um, again on a device. I think it's uh, the best best way to uh, to show you the the new things. Um, uh, let me show you. Let me show you um, on this 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 example uh, of managed. Uh, network. Uh, let me show you the Wi-Fi network networks. Uh, this 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 network called Michal. Michal, it's because it's it's in, in my my home, it's my apartment. Uh, it's my my uh, Wi-Fi network. Uh, it's managed. Why managed? Because uh, because it was created by Famoc on the device, and such network can be edited or uh, or removed uh, um, from the device by the by the end user, by by me, uh, so 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 that you you as administrator of, of Famoc or um, you can be sure that that the device will use corporate network when available. Uh, let me let me show you the um, this this managed uh, network settings and when trying to edit. There is a, a beautiful. Uh, information that action is not allowed for me and i cannot remove it either um mm, uh, last last thing last thing for from android uh, 11 this release uh, uh you can already know it because it was available uh, it has been available for 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 and some Samsung devices since three or four years, I believe. Uh, well, it's it's possible to prevent a defined uh, defined app from being stopped or clear data by by the uh, by the end user. Uh, it's very useful when we want to be sure that managed application will work without any problem and interruption. And uh, it's 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 uh, um, it's visible on the on the screen. Uh, when you open the, um, the application settings, it's, it's it's possible to normally it's possible to, uh, to, to 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 force stop or clear the storage or cache. Uh, when you when you uh, block it uh, with with Famoc, uh, this uh, this operation will be not possible uh, for for the end user perspective. Um, Mm, it's important that it, it can be defined in policy details in application policy section. Um, okay, let's let's change uh, direction a bit, uh, a bit from uh, Android 11, uh, but we will be. Uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about uh, Android, but uh, again, still, but but you know, in general, um, manage configurations for. Uh, for applications uh, where the source is in managed Google Play, uh, it's important that managed because uh, it allows us to to, to configure uh, those, those apps not only install um, remotely but but configure as well. And these are available in Famoc uh, from I think two years uh, since we have a lot of uh, on-site Famoc installations. Uh, where the FAMOC servers and devices work uh, often in closed uh, private networks, uh, we decided to implement such configuration um, uh, like like support uh, without manage Google Play. Uh, so if you have an app that support, uh, supports supports uh, managed configuration, uh, your own application, 
or common one delivered by, by, by the developer, you can simply upload it to FAMAC and all parameters will be available to configure as you used. Let me, let me show you how it looks like on, in, 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 in FAMOC console. Uh, I will open the applications list. Um, okay, let me let me uh, find my application. I already already uh, uploaded uh, uh, one to the to the FAMOC. Uh, I just want to you know to to, to save time because uh, uh, such applications are heavy. Okay, in this example, I have uh, I have prepared um, Excel Excel application. As you can see on the list, it's it's um, uploaded from file, not uh, not tell, not as a link from from managed uh, managed Google Play. Um, and when this this application this application file uh, installation file is uploaded to to FAMO console, and uh, uh, managed configuration is supported is is uh, implemented to this application, you will see uh, this configure app using uh, Android managed configuration section. Uh, so, so that uh, uh, you will be able to, to see the, the, the par par parameters, configure it, uh, and, uh, and prepare uh, application applications uh, to be ready to be distributed to all, all your managed devices. So as you can see, it's you know it's very easy, and you know uh, this this mechanism. I I I, I hope. Uh, okay, let's uh, mm, let's let's move. And when we when we have a managed device and we would like to uh, to control the sound settings remotely, uh, we can do it again from FAMOC. And uh, uh, as as you uh, as you can see uh, um, here on the, on the screen. We can define whether the uh, should be set to to sound, uh, vibration, or or even um, or even uh, muted. Um, I will switch to the uh, configuration to show you uh, that it is available in in FAMOC for real. Okay. Uh, sound. Some settings. Okay, as you can see, uh, I, I opened something new for for, for, for you. I, I I believe because I opened the the configuration uh, configuration tab. Uh, um, Michal Michal Koje, the next Michal will uh, will talk about it uh, um, in detailed uh, uh, in detailed in, in next few minutes. Uh, but let let uh, let me uh, let me focus on um, the sound settings configuration. Uh, as you can see, we can uh, we can we can preview the configuration and and uh, check uh, which parameters can be can be defined. Um, um, well, uh, as you can see, uh, for sound uh, sound profile, we can uh, define uh, the detailed sound level for each uh, each sound each sound type, uh, whether it is a voice call, media, alarm, notification. Or, 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 or as you, as you need it. Um, it's important that we can set the 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 the, the sound profile, uh, and it can be changed by by the end user. Um, we have a lot of customers where uh, where the devices are put in POC point of sales, or um, for example in museums where the dedicated content is displayed. Uh, on, on the devices um, like tablets, like big, big, uh, big smartphones, and the device hardware buttons or even screen is physically um, protected, and it's it's very important to set the uh, the, the the high uh, volume level or muted totally. It depends on 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 the client uh, client needs. Uh, so let's let's have a look at how it looks on my device. Um, Again, it's my uh, Google Pixel in my hand. It's here. 
okay let me send this oh before i send the 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 the, uh, the, the settings uh, configuration the sound uh, configuration let me show you that on this device uh, there is a vibration uh, set right now so and uh, the configuration will uh, will set the, the sound to sound profile with the maximum uh, volume level uh, okay let me um, choose my google pixel device apply and next few seconds you will uh, you will see the uh, you will see the confirmation on the device right now that uh, the the sound profile uh, uh, has been changed by famoc uh, as you can see it's uh, uh, the volume is set to to highest uh, uh, possible uh, profile and it's it's uh, available for uh, for full managed devices and and BYOD enhanced and enhancement as well for for full managed devices uh, for it, it is available uh, since Android uh, 8 anywhere of course um, right okay let's let's move forward and go to the to the last point of my part um, since we uh, decided to create um, uh, dedicated to coastal policy uh, last time we finally moved uh, all the important settings to, to one place. One place, it means uh, dedicated COSU policy. Uh, all parameters from kiosk and FAMUC launcher uh, configurations are, are available right now uh, in COSU policy. Uh, so, so from COSU policy, we can define whether the device should work in, uh, with one app uh, or, or more with, uh, with, FAMUC, with FAMUC launcher. Uh, use custom wallpaper, define app list, or even um, hardware button be behavior. Uh, I'm not sure if you are familiar with the uh, enrollment process with uh, COSU devices after after you, you scan the QR code or install FAMOC using uh, auto enrollment like KME or Zero Touch. Uh, but uh, but the device will display FAMOC FAMOC uh, FAMOC application with simple progress bar, and it will be. Uh, it will be displayed display till all all necessary elements will be ready on the device. It's ex extremely used uh, since no one is able to access the device till till the kiosk mode will be fully set. Uh, and and um, finally, it can it can looks like that. Let me switch to another my my other device. It's this in this case it's Samsung. And it's uh, prepared with uh, uh, with, with COSU mode. As you can see uh, here, I have only 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 um, uh, only some 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 uh, dedicated applications applications for me. Uh, I cannot access to, to to settings. I cannot access to uh, to notifications panel. Uh, I, I'm let's say forced to, to use only those applications nothing nothing else nothing more uh, even 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 uh, google chrome is um, is totally uh, restricted uh, with with defined uh, with defined uh, whitelist of of uh, of websites available for me um, okay i think that's that's it for me uh, let's let's switch to uh, to another Michał, Michał Kozieł. He has a lot of uh, news for Apple devices, changes in, in UI and, and future and the future of, of backup agents. Michał? I think I can't hear you. right now i think you can hear me yes i can okay okay sorry for you can you can sorry take the the, the screen oh, uh, yes. yeah the stage is yours and right now can you still still hear me 
Yeah. Just say yes. I, I can I can hear you. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> okay, I'll different. Sorry for that. Basically, this application always freeze when you don't use the audio. Right now, I think you, you I used the different camera. Oh yes. Yeah. You okay, I will switch to Apple. Okay, turn off the your setting, and I will choose my screen. Okay, uh, right now you should see Apple logo with a uh, three different uh, um, platforms, which we already uh, implemented a couple of years, a couple of years ago. So uh, I don't know if you know this, but basically uh, all the support for iOS, macOS, tvOS are, are are changing all the time. So we are trying to implement each feature. Uh, Still hear myself, so just wait a second. Today I got some issues with this. Okay, right now it should be okay. I do not see myself, but okay. Uh, we have uh, some of the support for iOS, macOS, and tvOS, so basic configurations and restrictions are possible right now in, uh, in FAMOC. Uh, from auto enrollment with the DEP, Apple DEP, or business uh, Apple Com, from uh, uh, configurations, profiles, and lots of lots of features uh, regarding the changes in iOS 13, 14. We are trying to implement each feature. Uh, even right now, I think we think we're already on the roadmap. We got uh, the remote desktop for iOS devices, but it's still ongoing. Uh, today I will not tell you about this, uh, all, all of these features, but I will uh, focus on new feature that we implemented uh, in this version. So this is the bring your own devices or the BYOD support. Uh, it's the different name is uh, device registers, uh, registrations for Apple devices. Uh, you require special account uh, generated on uh, business Apple code, uh, business Apple code, uh, portal. So you need to switch. Uh, uh, you need to create special accounts before you even start with the with this bring your own devices uh, mode. Uh, this is uh, something that uh, it's trend uh, right now. So Android already implemented this a couple of years ago. Apple only right now, so this is very strict to privacy. So all the data that you send from MDM will be used only in the content container mode, special restrictions, special uh, encryption and uh, with the file encryption and special configurations that will stay, stay only on the device. When you delete the profile, uh, all the information, all, all the configurations uh, or the applications will be uh, removed from your device and you will use a personal device on your own. Basically, this is bring your own device, so only for only. Uh, you can choose this is only uh, for these companies, but basically if you if employees got their own devices or uh, company has a policy that uh, are not very strict with security and they, they can give uh, devices uh, that are not uh, being registered uh, or checked uh, every second for location or other security reasons uh, all the time. Okay, I will show you how the process will look in FAMOC and, uh, and the new, new interface. Uh, we will start with DEP account. Uh, I tried to change the language on my Mac, but it's simply I'll log in one more time. You have to log in, so you have to uh, you have to have a um, special account on Business Apple Com. Uh, so you need to, your company need to be registered. You have a Duns number, and if you got that, uh, you can create. And if, if you have a special role, you can create users, the managed device users. I know it's in Polish, uh, but simply uh, the Safari will not work. I needed to rest up my Mac uh, before changing the language. So sorry for that. Uh, all you need to do, uh, so all you need to have is the manage Apple ID. It's in Polish, but uh, if you have this, I created 
special user for this one. Uh, there is a domain uh, that was registered um, by our company. It's in, the, in the past, it was fancy phone. Uh, so right now, I created additional user that will be used in uh, BYOD enrollment. So RV sector, do not change. It will look like that. You can generate the password. You can ge generate uh, different phone number. And basically, uh, you have all the uh, management for this specific user. Uh, if you want to create 100 users, simply create plus and uh, use the use the manual way, or you can choose one user for uh, for each uh, for each device. From the FAMAC point of view, it will look like that. So we will go to devices lists and plus and roll a device. Apple, I will choose user. Okay, and the full manage, it's the old way. If you got a DEP or supervised device or normal Android uh, iOS device, you can choose the fully or bring your own device. If you choose this one, you will see that this is the mandatory field. So you need to fill it, manage Apple ID account creation. So if you press this, you will be there will be a short description how to do that, how to create this uh, additional user. Okay, I need to put exact number, exact exact name that was created on the business Apple site, and press next. You will see what what will, what the restrictions, what the applications will be installed during this uh, enrollment. Uh, for the bring it on device, we got some security restrictions, uh, the VPP application installation, so the volume purchase program. So if you get a paid or uh, free of charge applications, you can install them during the enrollment and some of the data reporting. So if you install a couple of applications and configurations, we get some of the information from the Apple device, but not all of them if we choose the Kobo mode or the fully managed mode or, or, or the profile mode. The bring it on device is strictly to um, to privacy, so we can get only the information you provide us. Each uh, configuration will be in uh, loud mode, so you will get a notification. Okay, I'll press next. You can choose email, you can choose phone number, but I think we will use the scan the QR code. This is the sample. Um, iPhone, I already installed. So we got a FAMOC and very clean device. You, as you can see, there is no sign on the, uh, there is no Apple ID on this device. So we can choose, I will delete the old profile, remove management, and I will enroll it one more time. And we choose the camera. Okay, if you if you scan it, there will be a button called base agent. You need to download, allow, and provide downloaded. Review this profile in settings tab, settings tab. Close it, go to settings. Already in the future. And if you go scroll up, there will be enroll in Santa Monica. Santa Monica is a Name of the company, uh, name of the organization that uh, of, of our test organization. Enroll, enroll my iPhone. You need to provide a passcode if you choose one. And the password. The password was automatic uh, automatically generated on the Apple portal, but you can change it. Sign in. And a couple of seconds, enroll, enrollment successful. You can see uh, what information will be for provided, what is the profile, and in the meantime, oh, there will be some restrictions. Right now, we cannot make a screenshot. So if, when, even if I try to press the screenshot buttons combination, it does not work. 
So there will be more and more restrictions and more and more features for this bring it on device, uh, bring it on device. Uh, but we need to wait. Basically, we done some of the uh, restrictions, but uh, we are still waiting for a customer that uh, will, will require some specific features. But basically, uh, the basic support is already implemented, so you can use it uh, and check it if this will suit your needs. Uh, okay. Right now, we gotta go to device settings. It will be iPhone seven and policy successful some of the information about the device stat status so regarding the policy basic parameters it's not all of them on the normal iphone on the normal way there will be more but you can still use some uids bolt number model battery level and so on and so on you can install applications, configurations, but I will, we, are, we do not have enough time to, to do all of that, but you can still test it. We need to remember that the, is it required the 5.13 version. So you need to check if your cloud or on-premise server already got one. Okay, um, I will go with the next step. Uh, Michal, if I may, <laughs> we have Polish slides in here and we have another mm -hmm. slide in English if you can Sorry switch them. That. And by the okay. way, feel free, once again, feel free to ask your questions if you have uh, some in our question tab. Uh, we will be glad to answer them. And now some music. I think the screenshot was... We use the same so music. It's my part, right? Presentation Sorry. Yes. yesterday, and uh, <laughs> that is I why I'm looking at you. <laughs> I leave it on the okay. Okay. Yeah, Polish slides. Polish slides can be can be hard to understand for <laughs> for our audience. Okay. Okay. I will leave it. Michal, Michal, Michal is ready again. Bring your so. own device. Okay, and I will tell you Proceed. more about the uh, features or new functionalities that we implemented uh, in uh, Famoc E14. Uh, I think the best one or the uh, the most important or the um, uh, very easy to use uh, is the possibility to use the run uh, disable randomization of the MAC address on the VLAN configuration. Uh, the best way is to see that, but uh, this is some of them, some of the possibilities that we already implemented. So new security restrictions, new time zone, and delay of the uh, updates. I will sh show you all of them. Uh, the first one is the disable the, uh, the MAC address on FAMOC. I already created this, uh, this configuration, but if you want to create additional one, just press plus and choose iOS settings. So iOS profile, I will use edit. MAC randomization is... Uh, uh, when you use ex some external compliance checker, or if you if your company um, DevOps use uh, use some kind of uh, assignment for or a profile or a pro policy uh, based on MAC address of your device. So if you choose this option, uh, by default on Apple devices is randomized. So uh, regarding the the security issues, uh, it was only randomized if you, for example, try to use the hotspot and on airport or or by some kind of open uh, hotspot hotspot it was only uh, always generate new mac address uh, for um, for a customer to not to use the original one uh, right now if you use for example company network you can use uh, only one mac address the original mac address and disable the randomization so if you got a search button this is also the new configuration steps, but I will, uh, I will tell you more about this on the next step. Uh, right now, we will go to VLAN settings, and there is a disable MAC address randomization. Just press yes, no. You can choose different encryption type. All of them are possible. Each and uh, every one of them got this, uh, got this possibility. So disable MAC address and simply yes, no. 
press save and it will be sent to uh, to a device or a policy. It's based on your needs. Okay, the second uh, restrictions is the app clips and uh, restrict the personal Apple ads. So if you want to disable this uh, ads based on your uh, based on your um, needs on on the on the on the specific device you can simply block it and the app clips is the new thing that comes with uh, ios 13 uh, 14 uh, this is the sh small applications that are not installed directly on the on the mobile device but it's simply uh, when you receive sms or use an nfc tag uh, there will be some short notification on the window and you can simply use the micro application and simply, um, for example, use the Apple Pay for uh, for a scooter or a, for or a bike uh, that you want to rent. And a simple explanation. By and this is a new feature, so uh, one of our clients needed to to forbid this uh, use of app clips. So this is what we did for this specific uh, and basically all as a new feature for iOS. The configuration of the time zone, you simply can choose different time zone on uh, Ma on Apple uh, or I on iPhone devices, uh, iPad devices, and even on Mac OS. On, on Mac OS, for a couple of people, it might be difficult to use the time zone, but basically you can choose it for this specific user. Configurations, it's also in configurations. And time zone. Press edit, and for example, Africa. Press save, and simply send or assign to a policy. From this point of view, we can even assign this uh, configuration to a specific policy, but I just wanted to say, okay. Um, an additional thing, uh, the Mac OS restrictions. So if you use a Mac OS and you don't want to see each of the application you got on this Mac, uh, the small cloud with the possible update, software update, we can disable them or um, pass, postpone them for 40, uh, 30 days. So it will be easy, very easy for user to um, ignore it and to focus on the work and basically uh, just an additional feature to ease, uh, ease users. Okay, try to use different. Okay, right now the configuration in management interface, so I'll already show you the how it works, but I'll do it on a more advanced way. So other than that, you can create it. Um, you can choose multiple configurations and apply them on, 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 on devices. You got additional filter. So only VLAN, me email, security. So this is based on the types, types of groups, platforms, policy, and availability. Uh, the policy is very, very, very good because if you choose a specific policy, you can see how many uh, configurations were applied to this uh, to this uh, to this uh, specific policy and simply remove change the um, change the position or simply delete or add additional one for this specific policy uh, configuration types install certificate strong one this is the uh, based on based on uh, folders filter can be changed additional Tab view, so you can choose created by platforms, available com columns, uh, save. Okay, I did it. Only container, available in corp store, and also if you save a search, uh, so this is the search, you can save it, and it will be uh, by default uh, in this configurations. We also did that for applications, users, devices. So uh, more and more features uh, are available only on this new interface and the, the user uh, friendly interface will, will be a more and more friendly for you and more and more easy to use uh, features. So 
try, I mean, encourage you to use the new interface and new configurations. Uh, this is the last uh, the, the last stepping stone for uh, before we move each feature from the advanced interface uh, to new interface. So we we only got the policies left. So I think maybe this year or beginning of the new new, new year we will all uh, we have all the ne necessary uh, tools or configurations in the new interface. Okay. Uh, if we choose new configurations, um, there is a search button. So if you want to, you can know what you can, uh, what you want to do. You can simply press, for, for example, wallpaper, and choose set wallpaper on the, on the, on the side. Lock code, and you can choose which lock code would you need. Lock device change the lock code and force the lock code change or set things as a different. We need to press the name, lock code, iOS 14, for example. And this is for Android, but I know. <laughs> press next. Next, and this will look almost the same as on older interface, but you have additional information if you press on it. And there is a tree, so if you got additional button that says plus, there will be additional um, branch in the tree that uh, comes with the configuration. You can choose yes, no, on, or simply use the FAMOC database enable to use some specific features. Not in this one, but uh, it it is very uh, user friendly right now, uh, more and more user friendly. So simply choose limited, unlimited, and it will give you additional information about this. You can configure exchange wallpapers, everything. And if you create this one, this configuration, for example, this time zone, you can choose the action box and assignment. You can assign it to a device group, platforms, and you can also detach it or attach it to a policy. All policies are assigned, assigned, assigned policies, and choose, for example, test policy, apply. And these configurations will be or is already uh, applied to uh, test policy. It's very easy, just one button. You do not have to go to advanced mode. You can use only this view. Uh, okay, new management interface. And the last, uh, but not the least, uh, we uh, deprecated one feature uh, called backup agent. Uh, in the past that mm, we had, we all still got, but uh, we try to remove it. So we stop mm, updating or implementing new features in this backup agent. Basically, we uh, move uh, additional application. Uh, okay, I think I already have too much information. Okay, in the past, there was two applications. One, FAMOC-based agent called, it's a original application called FAMOC, and additional backup agent uh, only for uh, specific uh, backup configurations and, uh, and installations. So we uh, deprecated this backup agent. So as an additional application that were installed on Android devices or iOS devices, and simply move these features that, that, that were possible in this agent to original agents. It means that user do not have to install additional applications. There will, there will be no more notifications about the backup agent. It all comes with one applications and simply user is happy to and to use some of these possi possibilities uh, in um, during the backup or using the uh, contacts in um, business contacts. I'll just show you where it is on the uh, I have to go to advanced mode and edit any 
policy. So settings, policies, fully managed policies, or BYOD or COSU, simply edit and go to advanced and backup settings. Uh, right now, the backup policy is deprecated, but it still works. So if you use on, uh, if you are still using that, it, it will still work. But we recommend you to use the uh, the new way. So simply this configuration: backup settings, interval, backup type. So some which contacts will be applied to the, to the specific policy, and simply apply and save this policy. In the new inter interface, you can force this synchronization, on you, or you can simply uh, force it on specific uh, devices enabled to um, to synchronize the data or synchronize the backup data that you want to uh, that you want to do. Okay, I think this is all from my part. Uh, right now, I think the questions uh, will be in order. Uh, yes, thank you, Michal, and another Michal, thank you as well. Uh, thank you for a great presentation. Uh, in in any question um, about the new version, some features, you can uh, you can write uh, via email to presales uh, that uh, at uh, famoc.com or support uh, at famoc.com. Uh, Okay, thank you. Yeah. I guess that's all. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. I I can see that uh, someone is reading the question, maybe. No, yes, it's clear. Thank you for the presentation. Thank you all for being with us. Um, uh, have a good day and see you again next time. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Take care.